What's up everybody? Uh, Terrence here, aka The Poets, uh, my gamer name. And uh, today's video is really going to be kind of uh, quick and dirty. Uh, the topic of the hour is obviously the beer virus uh, or human malware. I can't really say the exact name or else YouTube's algorithm unfortunately will just make this video basically disappear. And the whole point of it is to get some information out so that we can all use our computers to help basically find uh, a way for scientists to better understand this beer virus. And uh, so let me just kind of get to it because uh, the more resources they have basically fighting this beer virus, the sooner we can find some type of vaccine or, or whatever we need to do to kind of help save lives because people are literally dying right now. So um, recently, Greg Bowman, who's uh, the director of the Folding at Home project, and if you're not familiar with Folding at Home, I did do a video on it a couple of months ago, so I'll have a link somewhere up here. Uh, you'll see like a white little bar. Go ahead and click on that, see that video. You'll get up to date on what I'm talking about in this video, and then just come back to this. Uh, it's worth the time, it's not long at all. But basically, long story short, the Folding at Home project allows your computer resources to be applied to find cures to diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's, all kinds of things. And now, because of this worldwide pandemic that we're facing, they are now allowing work units in the Folding at Home application to uh, be applied toward the beer virus. Uh, so I'm going to basically read the, some of the technical information of what's going on um, because they put out a really good article. I'll put a link for that in the description below as well. Uh, but I think that a lot of people will get a lot out of me actually reading it to them as well. So uh, this came out February 27th and then they did an update just two days ago. So what Greg says, uh, we need your help. Folding at Home is joining researchers around the world uh, working to better understand the 2019 beer virus. Um, to accelerate the open science effort to develop a new life-saving uh, therapy. Uh, by downloading Folding at Home, you can donate your unused computational resources to the Folding at Home Consortium, where researchers working to advance our understanding of the structures of potential drug targets uh, for the 2019 human malware beer virus uh, that could aid in the design of new therapies. The data you help us generate will uh, be quickly and openly disseminated as part of an open science collaboration of multiple laboratories around the world, giving researchers new tools uh, that may unlock new opportunities for developing life-saving drugs. So the beer virus uh, is, a, is a close cousin to SARS and, you know, because SARS is a beer virus as well. Um, and so, uh, and it acts in a similar way uh, for both beer viruses. Uh, I hope YouTube kind of grows up so I can actually say the actual words because this is an important, an important topic. Um, but uh, for both beer viruses, the first step of infection occurs in the lungs uh, when a protein uh, on the surface of the virus binds to a receptor protein on lung cells. This, vir this viral protein is called the spike protein. Uh, depicted in this image right here, and I'll do a, a close-up of it. And actually, I'll probably use this as my thumbnail as well. Uh, so, um, when the protein on the surface of the virus binds to the receptor protein on the lung cells, uh, the viral protein is called the spike protein. Uh, and, um, and the receptors is known as the ACE2. So, all those kind of receptors there, that's the ACE2. I'm going to refer to that a couple of times. Um, a, therapeutic, a therapeutic antibody is a type of protein that can block the viral protein from binding to its receptors, therefore preventing the virus uh, from infecting the lung cells. And if forgive the ambient sound, it's in, we're in California and it's raining like cats and dogs right now. Um, so uh, let's see, a therapeutic antibody has already been developed uh, for SARS. Uh, but to develop a therapeutic antibody or small molecules for this current beer virus, scientists need to better understand the structure of the viral spike protein and how it binds to the human ACE, ACE2 receptors uh, required for viral entry into human cells. So they need a lot of processing power to better understand that. Uh, proteins also are not stagnant. Uh, so they kind of like wiggle around and fold and unfold to take on numerous shapes. Uh, so we need to study not only one shape of the viral spike protein, but all of the ways the proteins wiggle and fold into alternatives, uh, alternative shapes in order to best understand how to interact with the ACE2 uh, receptor uh, so that an antibody can be designed. 
uh, low resolution structures of SARS um, spike protein exist and we know the mutations that differ between SARS and this current pure virus. Uh, given this information, we are uniquely positioned to help model the structure of uh, this beer virus spike protein and identify sites that can be targeted by a therapeutic antibody. We can build computational models that accomplish this goal, but it takes a lot of comp computational power in order to do this. So um, the update article basically says that they did have a, kind of a, a beta test of it and they had a, you know a, a great amount of people that actually went in into the settings for the folding at home found the the beta settings and were able to basically donate their computing power for this and so that's a wonderful thing and so that was able to kind of get things going so now when you do go to the folding at home website download the application uh, get it all installed it'll basically look like this and you can then select in your configuration what uh, type of element you want your computer to kind of spend most of its time on so whether it's uh, like Alzheimer's cancer what have you but for this because this is brand new uh, one it's GPU only right now so nobody could do GPU and CPU so this is just your GPU only the CPU version is going to come out soon when they have kind of more data to you know pour into this um, so right now just use for any so when I go to uh, preferences here I'm sorry when I go to um, the configure here and in the advanced tab there's going to be a drop down here for cause preferences right now there's any Alzheimer's cancer Huntington's uh, and Parkinson's so if you select on any that leaves your computer open to be able to um, be utilized for when they do have new units work units for this uh, human malware beer virus uh, to be worked on. Uh, eventually there will be a separate drop down just for this beer virus. So that'll be great too. But right now, if you just leave it, leave it open for any, and you can actually say, okay, you just want your GPU just to be utilized in this as well. It's an easy thing in the, in the settings too. Um, so if you do have any questions with it, just you know put it in the comment section and i will see all of them trust me i'll try to reply unless this goes viral and there's like a hundred thousand but that's a good thing and um we have a great community uh i'll even try to rely on um if you like this shirt if you get it uh this is from a uh, bitwits merch store go ahead and check his uh, uh channel out as well but I, the youtube community is kind of rallying around to be able to do whatever we can to make sure that people you know are aware of what's going on um, you know definitely have your cleanliness at hand and this is a great way just to help out the scientific community as well uh, I've been using folding at home for God knows how many years uh, even way back to the SETI days where we we're kind of looking for uh, radio signals for you know possible extraterrestrial existences um, and that project has gathered so much information that they're putting a pause on it it might actually be over uh, because it's going to take them years to kind of dive through all that data so all of you SETI users please check out folding at home now as well and this is a prime time to join up because uh, this beer virus is serious with schools closing states being basically shut down um, and with me here in Los Angeles, yeah, we're all kind of nervous here as well, um, but it's a global pandemic. So um, this is a great way to help out when you're not video gaming, you're not doing any type of specific workloads. This can automatically start working in the background or you can just have it running 24 um, seven. Yes, it will slightly increase your electric bill because it's using, you know, processing power. Uh, so just kind of think of it as if this is on the GPU only side right now maybe it's like you're playing a very intensive game non-stop 24 7 so kind of think that electric bill might go up based on a very intense video game a little bit more maybe uh and i'm looking forward to when the cpu version of this comes out so we can really crank out some serious work units uh, with the combined gpu and cpu so if you have any questions please just you know put them in the comments below and um, hopefully you like more videos like this because I love folding at home. I love projects that can just kind of help out when, you know, our computers are just sitting there collecting dust. This PC that I have in behind me is water cooled. Um, it's a Threadripper 3970X, 32 core, 64 thread. So I'm hoping that this project can definitely start to use CPU usage 
first, uh, sometime soon. Uh, and my water cool video card in here is a Vega 64 and it cranks out a lot of stuff for the folding at home project very, very nicely. You don't need a high-end system. Any system can really work. I don't really recommend using uh, laptops for folding at home because you'll drain your battery very, very quickly um, and you're not gonna get as much processing power. But if the laptop's all you have and you just like have it plugged in, uh, feel free to do it for a couple hours. It, every little bit will help out. So. Thank you very much. Um, you know, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, I love doing stuff like this, and uh, hit the bell notification for uh, to be notified when my videos do drop. And I will uh, see you in the next one. Peace. Stay safe out there.